just, oh yes, getting that fan going. It is so hot up here. Alrighty then, I guess I'm on. I guess it's time to play. I guess it's time to do something. I guess it's time to, like, live. I don't know. Who cares, right? Well, right. Okay, so come into here, come into here, come into here. All right, all right, all right. I need to keep running back and forth, okay? Uh, I'm buying that sawmill today. I don't care. I'm getting this done. I don't care. Oh, yes. Why do you even stop, H, higher? I don't understand why you would stop. That's the dumbest thing in the world to stop. Uh, uh. I'm partially done. I'm going to quit. Hmm. No, H. Don't even. Drop that down and get the crap done. Well, today it's like this magical time of the year that we should just start figuring out how the uh, money's going to start rolling in. Uh, hey, Michael, what's up? It was in the 90s here. Yeah, it was a little bit warm for us. But I'm going to try to get into here and uh, what I want to do is like, start planning on how I'm going to keep bringing in money. I want to have like as many ways as possible. I want to have all my options open for every penny that I can like come and get and 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 you know what? I'm done being broke on here. I really am. I might as well kick out a few hours and get things done and get things rolling and move. My wife gave me a hard boiled egg. I like hard boiled eggs. Mm. That's so good. So put this down. Come into here. Stop running over the equipment. You know what? I'm going to make it a little bit faster. Ooh, didn't even see that one there. <sighs> Anyhow, I'm going to bring in some more quick... Well, I'm going to go grab my uh, fertilizer spreader for this. The bigger one. I'm going to get that field done real quick. Call it, you know, a day on that crap. I'm not going to spend forever. I'm done wasting time, done doing it all slow and like relaxing for now. I mean, I got things to do, I gotta like get running, I got, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot to think about. So why not just, you know, drop a couple pounds? Ready? Set to... Go. Watch how fast this works. Hmm. Ain't that nice. Told you this works quick. Real quick. 
Hey, what's up? Hmm. Yeah, I won't be on for the next couple days because uh, we are taking a trip. A little trip on my little rocket ship. And B. Good. See how quick and easy that was? Like I said, you get the right machine for the job, it gets done quick. Hmm. I don't need to play around with all this forever. It gets kind of old and boring doing that. Okay, now let's switch. I mean, that's nice and all. It's cute. It's nice for something little when I just want to, you know, kill time and I have forever to do it. But, you know what? I want to get things done today on here. I mean, I want to get it all done before I go on vacation. So, how do you do it, uh, like, quickly and efficiently before going on vacation? It's really simple. Yeah, the weatherman's usually wrong. That's why I don't trust them. Hmm. Take a little trip. Yeah, we're going over to Sandusky, Ohio, going Cedar Point and everything. You know, I really don't ride rides, but, you know, it's for the family. I'm doing it for them. Have some family time, vacation time, whatever you want to call it. That's why I'm going to do it. Oh man, here we go. And I know I'm good this way now. V, lift up. So all I have to do is figure out about where. I'm going to start this mess at. Which will be like right in here. Yeah, there we go. See, she's going to get a few feet out of it first. Before she has to turn around. That's exactly what I wanted. So now she'll run all the way to the end. Flip it. Hmm. Alright, if you want to start there, whatever. I'll just have to come back and, like, clean up your edges and stuff for you. I just wanted to make sure it was going to work out for the most part. And, I mean, it looks like it is. I'm happy with it overall. I mean, could always be a little bit better, but it could be a lot worse, too. Alright, so I got that setting down. Got this coming through All right now. I got to do the hardest part. Hook up to that trailer and go make me some money. Yeah. Me making money. Thought this was going to be an all day thing. No, it's not. I don't have time for it. I don't want to have time for it. I just want to get it done. All right, let's roll. 
can do the planting of trees and stuff later. Oh man, that's going to be so nice. Yep, I was only going to make a couple more fields through here. Get everything else straightened up, organized. Oh yes, trust me, I got big plans. I do, I do, I do, I do. I wish I could make it onto a map for everybody and be like, Hey, this is how this crap's going to work. And then, and then I can become a millionaire. Yo, with how things are going anyhow, I'm starting to get that way. I almost got a hundred thousand. Whoa. Uh, that's why I get inside the tractor for this crap. So I can actually see where I'm going. But I think I'm making out pretty good overall with the wood chips and everything. I think I'm doing real good with that. Now I just gotta keep it going. How am I gonna keep it going? I'm buying a company. I'm buying the sawmill. <laughs> and then I'm making planks. <laughs> and then after I make a bunch of planks, what I'm gonna do is make furniture. See? I think it'd be good. Make all the furniture and everything, then you're making some decent cash. After that, I mean, I can put in some cotton fields, whatever else I can, but I mean, cotton fields I'm not too sure about right now because I ain't got the machinery. But I can start on like a grain mill or something like that and start selling off of that. Because that can be good money too. Turn it into a bakery. Bakery does pretty good. I've had a couple. Might as well just start putting everything together. But, overall, I want another piece of land before I actually start bringing that stuff in. Uh, the other piece of land I want will be a little bit closer. It will, because I want to bring in enough to, like, keep everything going. And when I deliver it, I don't want to have to go all the way across the map like I am now. I think the only I think I should only be able to go across the map for a few of the items, not every item. So I want to keep the production end on this side of the map over here. Um, quick example, what I'm talking about. Go into here. Do 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 do. -do. Come into here. I want to buy seven. Put all my productions in seven. What is that crap there? Ready to harvest? Remove foliage? What? There's a field. Um, there's a field. Um, there's a field. What's this crap? It's like right over here. Huh. Owned by Richard Miller. What is it? It's sugarcane, really? Man, oh, that gave me an idea though. I'm down. I'm completely down with that. Sugarcane can bring in a lot of money. I've never done sugarcane. Oh, yes, I think I found what I want to do. Oh, yes, I'm loving this. I want to do some sugarcane now, because I've never done it. I need to learn about sugarcane. Trust me, the mill comes first. I dump go. Do de 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 do 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 de do de do 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 
Do do do do. This needs to really hurry up. Oh my god. This is taking forever to dump. Hurry up, get out. Hurry up. <laughs> I want to do sugarcane though. I think sugarcane would be an awesome idea. I think it would be a great idea. I really want to do sugarcane. Am I going to be just a thousand or so short? I'm like 2,000 short. Oh my god, I can't believe this. We are no longer friends if I am that short. Oh, wait. Learn how to drive, dum dum. Learn how to drive. Oh my god. Jump out. Well, it's still in gear. Hurry up, get over here. Sell wood, sell wood. I sold one little piece of wood. There we go. I'm going to go back and get more wood. I must get the wood, Captain. Why? Why? Why, you ask? Well, I'll answer that. I will answer that very easily because I'm buying the sawmill. No matter what, I don't care. I'm buying the sawmill. <laughs> And then I want to do sugarcane. I'll do a field of sugarcane. Ooh, I got a mother grass too. I will get it all done. Mother grass. Um, what else? Oh, after I mow it, I need to like make it into cool piles. And then, and then, and then, I need to bale it. And then, and then, and then, and then, after I bale it, I need to become a millionaire. Actually, start buying myself out of debt after I get some equipment and everything. Oh my god, my phone just went nuts. I don't know why. It always has that effect. But hey, if you haven't liked and subscribed to the channel, please do. It really will help me out. Uh, I still have these like little quarrels with my parents. I don't understand. I mean, I own my own house. I have like a wife. I have kids. Everything. And I still get in these little quarrels and squabbles with my parents. I guess it's something that will never end in life. Like, they've tried to tell me to, you know... You need to do all this, and you need to do this to get to, like, operate a boat. You need to know people to operate a boat. No, I just went out and got my license. And when I tested out, I scored a 91. Wasn't bad. Um, but I did get my boating license, and I have no boat. I mean, I have a couple kayaks, but you don't need a license for them. Turn! Turn and burn! Man, I can make a bunch of sugar cane and everything. And then, and then, and then, I will feed it to the kids. Because I don't have to deal with them. Ha ha ha. Urge. If you are right next to the road, B. Let's see. If you are right next to the road, you won't be next to the road. Boom. Told you. Didn't lie to you. Uh. G. Now go down. Oh man. This one just don't want to go away. Okay, there it did. Let's see who else is right next to the road. Oh, I mean, that's a small one. I want that one up here. I do, I do, I do. I want it. It's right, like, on the side of my field up here. And the race is on, and here comes Pride in the back stretch. Heartaches coming to the inside. See, I'm doing great. Doing great, doing great, doing great. 
And I will come across here. Man. I can make this into like three or four more fields and get some more cool stuff and I will become a winner in life. I told my parents I would be something someday. They were not expecting this crap. Uh, B, turn it on. It's in my way. Fixed. Told you, fixed. Yes, I told you fixed. And I meant it. I'm at 48%. Oh, he's doing pretty good now. Ooh, that tree's like close to. And there's like four or five trees over here I can get. Boom, gone. Oh, man. That was not what I wanted to do, honestly. That's definitely not what I wanted to do. I got way too much and it junked everything else. Oh, that's bad, bad. Real bad, bad. Oh, well. Gotta get going, gotta get going, gotta get going, because here it comes. I am buying the lumber mill. So I can have wood. And everybody could touch my wood. Good reason to own a lumber mill, ain't it? So people can touch your wood all the time? I like when people touch it. I mean, I got these nice hardwood floors in the house. I got, like, uh, older style furniture and everything. Yeah. I mean, I think it's awesome, when, you know, having people come through the house and check it out. Because you get all these people, oh my god, your house is so beautiful. And I'm like... Yeah, it ain't bad. I mean, you'll begin to hate it after owning it. Oh, I could never hate a house like this. Well, since you can't hate this house, uh, can I have some money to give it a paint job? Oh my god, that's so expensive. Hey, yeah, yeah, want to do some bathroom work for me? Oh my god, that's a lot of work. Yeah, now start hating the house. The bigger the house that you own, the more that you're going to hate it, honestly. Uh, the small cramped ones, you're going to hate it because they're all small and crampy type deal. But the really big ones don't really have that room like you think. I mean, you're going to learn how to use it up really, really quickly. Because my parents went from like this small house into the house that they're in now. And they're like, oh, I won't ha I, I, I have all this room and all this room and all this room. And now their house is so cluttered that they bring stuff to me. Yeah. They bring stuff over. It's like, oh, I never thought that my house would be like this. Yeah, it is. So, I got my house. What was your punishment as a kid? Which one? It depends. I got grounded a lot. Uh, my computer would get taken away. Or actually, just the power cord for my computer would get taken away. Stuff like that. Um, that was a simple punishment. Um, yeah, we believed in spankings in my house. Trust me, I've had a few. They build character, tr uh, yeah, you know? Um, I mean... Couldn't go see my friends. We had a lot of little punishments, you know? Different ones. But I got in a lot of trouble when I was a kid. I did the whole, hey, I'm smarter than anybody, nobody's going to catch me trouble. Yeah. And I got into a lot of trouble thinking that too. Uh, I, I did some not so great things. I mean, if I could change the past, I might change it a little bit because I would want to be a little bit smarter and I know my early snaps is development. Yeah, it would have been a little bit different if I would have just wanted to learn a little bit more. 
But I mean, things were not presented in a way that was really worth my style of learning. And it was hard for people to understand how I learned. I mean, I come from like a poor school, poor area, stuff like that. So, I mean, I, uh, yeah, not good. Trust me, not good. But I think if I did anything else, I wouldn't be here today. So that's a good way to think about it. Because I have a lot of fun on here. I have a lot of fun joking with everybody. Talking with everybody. I think that this is amazing just to do what I'm doing now. So that's why I do it so much. I have a lot of fun doing this. And hey. I'm happy with it, you know? I love to come on here and have these nice like conversations. Uh... My older sister and me get spankings. My younger sibling and my brother uh, did not get spankings as a kid. Well, yeah, I mean, this whole thing changed in life. Okay? It changed in life. I mean, my generation was like the last of this magical generation that could, like, really get a good whooping in, in life. Oh, yes. Can I buy it? By production point R. Sawmill, 100,000. Yeah, I'll take it. Building has been purchased. Ha 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 ha. Owned by my farm. Planks, one. Love it. Oh, yes. Uh. Let's go into this. Uh, go to R, manage it. Yes. Storing planks. That's exactly what I want to do with it, too. Uh, change, selling, distributing. Uh, I should go into distributing. Maybe. Change output mode to selling. I'll change this to selling too. Just for now because it'll make me more money. And I do need the money now. More than ever. Um. Do 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 do. Okay, so. Sugar cane. We're going to look at some basics here. I got a tractor big enough, okay? Single row billet thing. And then this is a cutter. And then this. And sugarcane box. Okay, I need this to plant. And then I can get a single row here. And then this cuts it and throws it into here. Which then I can put it back into here. I think it goes... But then I can take it to the sugar point. Um, P, baby. Uh, exit. Okay, get into this menu. Do, 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 Oh, it didn't even really sound like a cotton. Oh man, cotton's good. Uh, sugar beets. Oh man, sugar beets ain't bad. Sugar beets, I think, is kind of the way to go, though. Because with sugar beets, it's... Come into here. Come into here. This is what I'll need, alright? Since my tractor is 300 horse. Beet technology, I'm going to need this and this, which is like a hundred and whatever thousand let's just say a hundred and twenty two thousand dollars for them two things right there all right and back i mean i can get any of these trailers type deal to haul it you know including the one i have now back or i can go into these and there are some of these that are magical let me find one Uh, 
Uh, ooh, there's the sugar cane. Uh, there's potatoes. And that does beets right there. And I need a huge tractor to pull something like that. Oh, this one right there. That will do 300. Alright, so I'd get like something like that. And it hauls a good weight right there. Good size load it can haul. Man. And potatoes. So sugar beets wouldn't be bad to start out with, you know? But that's another $120,000 I need just for that little end, uh, starting ordeal uh, back. Okay, Goofy. I got you. I got you, Goofy. I got you. I got you, babe. Dun 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 dun. H. So. Uh, if I go into here real quick, another thing to look at, all right, to start making some decent cash. Is getting into these all right I mean this here is 125 centimeter round bale for 48,000 this one will do round bales different sizes this one will automatically wrap them for me though hurry up 25 and 50 this will wrap and this is a hundred thousand right here so I mean that's not a bad deal you know and then what I would have to do from there is just grab a trailer to start picking them all up which I don't think that that would be a bad ordeal honestly Give them a day or two. They turn to silage bales. When they turn to silage bales, I can just boom, 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 boom. You know? I used to sell a lot of silage. If you ever watch my older videos, you'll see how much I've sold off. Um, as I sell off all my silage, I mean, it's I'd get thousands and thousands of dollars on it. But yeah, the uh, potatoes and everything, the sugar beets and all that. Oh man, you can get so much weight doing that. And if it's selling by the weight. Oh, thank you, beauty. Huh? Okay, good night. Love you. Bye. Hmm. Yeah, we're supposed to be leaving at like 6 in the morning. And I'm like, nah, I really don't want to go. I don't want to do it and they're all like yes you have to yes see what I'm saying I'm whining and crying about this whole ordeal and the wife's like ha ha I hate you and here's proof so like I said I'm heading out to Sandusky tomorrow so if you want to see me I will be like in Sandusky at Cedar Point and then Saturday I will be at Cleveland at the zoo not the zoo the aquarium there we go yeah and then we're gonna sneak home so there's my list of where I'm gonna be Ooh, I got this huge itch right here oh yes Oh yes, had a huge itch on my arm. Had to fix that. Uh, uh. Oh, here we go. Here we go.
I gotta figure out this whole sugar cane ordeal too. How it works. Give me a couple more loads. Just so I can buy like a, uh, what is it called? The thingy. The thingy that does the thingy that operates the thingy. You know what? B, B, there we go. Yes! That was quick and easy. I like that. That was so quick and easy. Alright, let's get down here and clean up some more fieldage. I got a lot of stuff to do. And a short time to get there. Well, yes, I believe that spanking can cause respect. I believe... Well, actually, we won't get into my beliefs on this whole thing, alright? People don't like how I see things. They really don't. It turns into this whole like down down thing that just ain't good. I want to get all this crap pushed back. I do. I want to have happy tractors. It's not like getting stopped every five seconds by trees and everything else. Awesome. And let's go. this over here real quick oh no not that part gee that part is what I want to drop because I'm gonna re-fertilize this field so I have my second stage of fertilizer yay and if I have my second stage of fertilizer you know what that means yay I don't have to worry about fertilizing it later so let's back into this And get down here and spread it. Back up so I can see my spread. Huh. You like how quick and easy that is? I do. See how like nice it looks. Yeah. I really do like that. It covers a great area. And it's so quick and easy. So now we're going to come up here. Finish this off. Uh, I'm going to do some planting on here. And be... Put some soy down on there or something. Or corn. I don't care. Corn sounds good. Corn or soy? Come on, people. Hurry, give me an answer. What would everybody want to see? Corn or soy right now?
Well, I'm in the midst of getting all this, like, switched out and re-prepared and all that. Huh. Yes, I got the pole going! And then I'm gonna come over here. Hook back up. And then, what should I do? Sugar beets? Or sugar cane? Run, Forrest, run! I also need to get a big trailer to start doing lime. Here we go. And now to get this up to the front there. It's nice that I actually finally got my first production building, yes. That means I can actually start stepping up. It's going to start selling for me. And as it starts selling, I'm going to randomly start making some money. And while I'm making the money, I mean, hey. It's extra cash. That's how I'm seeing it. It's something that I need. Because I'm broke. Um, cut these wheels. Drop that. Uh, come over here. And come back in, back in, back in, back in, back in. Uh. Okay. Well, since I didn't get a very good response on that, I guess I will go with soybeans. But. I want to get a trailer for grass and stuff like that first. Or bale or whatever. Bigger baler. So I'm going to get this down over here. I might probably sell off my other baler. Sell off my trailer and everything. And then just start over on all that. Oh, I'll probably want the AC on you. And I'll come around over here. Do 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 and H. Make sure he does well starts off. Do 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 boom. Awesome little start, right? Made his first huge swipe of the week. And go. Man, can make the good money now. And then I need to get down here. This is all going to get turned into a field, by the way. Yeah, I might, like, swap that over into, like, a field and then get this prepared to be a field here. Get this prepared over here. Oh yeah, I got a lot of work ahead of me. But now I can actually see what's in my lumber mill. Alright, because, I mean, you can pop over to here. Do 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 do. Come on, hurry up, ain't got all day. Productions. Hundred and ten is all it really holds, I think. Ooh. So just in case. Just in case. I I wanna know. Construction. Production. Factories. Ooh, bakery. Carpentry. Carpentry. 60,000 for that? That's it? I thought it was way more than that. Dairy? Spinnery? I mean... Bakery? C 
carpentry. 60,000. So I'm almost to 60,000. If I get 60,000, I can just swap everything over and just sell everything as furniture. Because if you look under the furniture part, da da da. Selling planks, 3,000. Selling furniture, 5,000. So I can make a little bit extra money on selling the furniture over the blanks. Hop back in. Yeah, this is a lot of back and forth crap, ain't it? I know. Boom, I hit the deer. Ooh, speaking of that, I almost hit two deer today at work. Oh, they just started, like, coming out. The one was like, uh, what do I do? What do I do? You know, it's like the whole, like, Looney Tunes, if you're old enough to know, you're old enough to know, trust me. Uh, where did he go, George? Where did he go? Yeah, just like that. That's kind of like what the deer was thinking. Where do I go, George? Where do I go? And then, it finally jumped off the road like the last minute before I plowed it over. The other one just decided to bolt like right across in front of me. It ran out in front of a pickup. Did like a loop type deal. You know. Uh, uh, what are they called? The, the, the. Oh man. I'm having that brain seizure thing again where I can't think of it. The ribbons that people like put on their cars. Yeah, it was like the path of that deer. It came across, did a circle, and shot right back across. It cut off a truck, and then it cut me off. Ooh, so I should get another 13000 on this. Should be around about, I don't know. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. But either or, what's happening is it's going to bring me in some extra money and it's going to put me one step closer to being able to be like carpentry friendly. And as soon as I can become like carpenter friendly, that's just extra money. Extra money. It's a slow production of money, but it's still money to me. I got this whole tree thing on the front here. I mean, it'd be nice if I could do something with the wood chips, like if you can make like plywood or something with the wood chips. All right, so I'm back over into here. Coming back around. Breaks. Red Robin. Yum. Alright, I... Let's see what I can get off of this. Sixteen. And still shooting through the roof. Twenty. Twenty two. Oh, this is so nice. This is how you should be bringing in money. Every time. Twenty four. Twenty six. Ah, just shy of twenty seven. So 13,000 again. You see how nice this is to get these 13s? It's a lot of money. And if I'm bringing in 13,000 that quick, you know I'm doing something right. Urge, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's all this is about is a bunch of speed back and forth. <sighs> now, how how fast can I get like another 13,000? It put me at 39, so real close to 40,000. 
Actually, it should give me that 40,000, honestly. If I can get that 40,000, oh yes. That means 20 more until I can get the carpentry place. Which I don't mind about having one place over in my area, just I don't want all of them. A little bit here, a little bit there, and I'll be happy. Ooh, then you get the warehouse going and you store everything in the warehouse. That's the nice part right there. Having a place to store everything. Just drop it all off. Be like, yep, here you go. Have it. Have a nice day. See ya. Man, we're running back and forth with this little trailer. I think it'd be smart to buy another, like, two or three of these trailers. Just line them all up. One right after another and empty them off. But they're not very big. I, I mean, I like the design. I like everything about the trailer. It's just, it's not very big. Uh. I'm trying to race. I need a bunch of trees and stuff to be like chopped down. Alright, almost back. Almost. Maybe I can get this in the 90s. Oh yeah. It's a long day, honestly, today. I mean, I didn't do a lot of work because it was uh, uh, employee appreciation or whatever. I don't know if anybody else has that where they, they're at, but... We have the whole employee appreciation where they tell how good we are and all this stuff and then they say, oh yeah, we're going to give away longevity awards. Well, what's a longevity award? Well, a longevity award just says that you've been, you've been dumb enough to stay here this long. Hmm. Alright, let's hit another tree. Actually, I think these ones are far enough back from that field. It should be fine. I'm just looking for stuff at the corners of my field. Stuff like that, you know? Things that ain't a mile away from my fields. And jump out so I can see. Uh, G. Place it right down on top. Man, that's only 24%. How do I increase 24? Whoa, 44. Man, that's giving me some daylight over here. I like that. That, that works out great. Now let's smack another tree. I got you. I got you, babe. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. 74. Ninety-nine, that's a good number. Ninety-nine. 
99 is a really good number. It means I haven't went over yet and I still got a little bit of space for more. It's a great number. Alright though. Honestly, I do think I should be getting off of here. I gotta go to bed. I gotta be up in a couple hours. So, all in all, I will be on a trip this weekend. I don't know if I'll be back on Sunday or Monday or what, but we will figure it out. And other than that, as I say every night, have a good day, have a good night, have a good evening, have a good whatever it is when you're watching this video. Have fun, be safe. Do not forget to like, do not forget to subscribe. And I will talk to you probably around the end of the weekend. Good night, everybody.